All right, so, um, man, I, I really don't know where to start. Um, I, I wanted to try this thing out where I maybe do like a daily podcast or daily something, I don't know, some, some kind of content that will kind of let you bring you in a little bit and let you know a little bit more about myself and uh, and how I start my day, how I, uh, uh, my work ethic, my um, time consumption, and how I manage my time. Well, first of all, uh, there's a lot of people that manage their time by actually writing it down. And by the way, I probably shouldn't be doing this. I am driving right now, um, and as you can see, I'm not wearing a seatbelt either. Uh, I live dangerously, very dangerous. <laughs> uh, and I'm driving a, a 04 Dodge Ram 1500 quad cab pickup. And uh, first of all, I love Dodge. Uh, I don't know if you know know that about me, but um, I love American-made cars, and uh, my household is all American-made cars, and it's been like that uh, before this. I had a uh, Dodge Challenger, and I just recently sold it. Um, I tra actually, I traded it in to get my wife's car, so she has some equity in her car. Uh, and my wife had an MKC, Lincoln MKC, which is 2015. My, my um, Challenger was 2010. Um, I put Lambo doors on it. I put a sound system. <laughs> and um, it, it was pretty, it was pretty badass. But um, I did it for, because I wrapped my car my uh, Dodge Challenger and it was the only one you're ever going to see I wrapped it in gold chrome so like how you see those videos on Facebook where uh, or Instagram where people are riding around in uh, gold chrome Lamborghinis and Ferraris I had a gold chrome Challenger with Lambo doors yeah <laughs> okay so try to top that Anyhow, so I traded it, uh, traded that in along with uh, my wife. Her name is Diana, my gorgeous wife. Absolutely love her. And I have um, a son, and he's about to turn one year. I think maybe that's the reason why I started, uh, I decided to do this. Not just because he's about to turn one year old, but also this year I'm turning 30. And I know I don't look it. Uh, I just uh, look like a baby. But um, I'm turning 30 and I'm just, I'm thinking back about all the things I've done leading to this point. And I'm pretty damn proud of everything I've done. And I don't know, I just, uh, thinking back, the one I, I, I never regret anything and uh, I, I mean that's I, I think regret is bullshit um, unless you like you know like cause somebody to to lose their life or something like that I mean or cause really loss or harm but I mean uh, besides that I mean actions and uh, you know you know personalities and moods and um, decisions at the time. I don't really regret that. Now, these people right here in the, in the bus, they're probably looking at me and thinking, what the hell is this kid doing? So, anyhow, um, so uh, I, I turn, I'm I going to turn 30 in on November. My birthday is November 15th. I am a Scorpio and everything that comes with being a Scorpio. And all the stereotypes are pretty damn accurate. Um, I'm passionate. I am driven I am I don't know if emotional is one of those but I do take things to heart quite a bit I say that I can take criticism but then really uh, after it's said and I have time to reflect on it it might keep me up to like three o'clock in the morning and I'm just it's just weighing me down yeah so I guess maybe I am emotional um, 
And uh, this is my playoff beard, by the way. And I'm in the final stretches before my vacation. So uh, I own my own business and uh, I've, you know, I rarely plan my vacations. And then, um, but my wife, Diana, she does a good job of reminding me that I need to take some time off and just relax for a little bit. So, anyhow, um, back to the subject. I turned 30, I'm turning 30 in November, and I reflected on everything that I've done leading up to this point. And the one thing that I'm that I can't get off my mind is I wasn't thinking big enough. I have, I own and operate about five businesses, um, self-owned businesses that I started from scratch. Um, just to name a few, I own um, a real estate brokerage company. I'm a licensed real estate broker. Um, I have a real estate academy. I offer pre-license, post-license, continue education course to real estate professionals. We've been around for 14 years. The brokerage company has been around for almost the same time. I have a, uh, I have a food truck, and I'm gonna talk about the food truck in just a moment. And I have a few other businesses that I'm dabbling in. I invest in real estate. I buy and sell homes myself. I buy, uh, renovate, and flip them. And I, I really, uh, I'm going to talk about that a little bit too. Um, I really believe in improving communities. But <clears throat> anyhow, I wasn't thinking big enough. I mean, like all my businesses, and uh, it, it, with the exception for one, I, I'm also a mobile app developer. And I have about 14 mobile apps to date. And all of those businesses, with the exception to the mobile app, are very local. And, I mean, real estate is local. I mean, you could sell to out-of-state or out-of-town buyers and so forth. But, um, I mean, they're all local businesses. And I'm thinking, that that's not good enough. You know, if I, I told myself before I was 30... I'd become a millionaire, and um, I've achieved that. I actually achieved it right before I turned 28, and I'm super proud of what I've accomplished, but I have a curse, and the curse, I don't know if this is saying it the right way, but... Um, I'm never satisfied. Um, and you, you see TV shows, you see movies about it, where, um, you know, people say, uh, is enough really enough, right? Well, not for me. Unfortunately, enough is not enough. I don't know if you can relate to this or not. I don't know if, I, I don't know if I'm unique. I'm, I'm pretty sure there's other people that have the same attitude and feeling and motivations uh, that I have, but um, I don't know. It's just uh, so back on track. I, I'm I'm not thinking big enough. I wanna I wanna go big. I, I wanna hit. Now that I'm a millionaire, and, and let me just be honest with you, okay? I say I'm a millionaire, but that's. It's really my net worth. I'm not liquid. Uh, my money is in real estate. So um, just to give you some numbers, I have a um, commercial property. I own six properties right now. And um, I have two condos. I have a vacant lakefront property. I have a, uh, a commercial property. And then I have a personal residence. Actually, I have two two commercial properties. Excuse me. So, that's that's six. And um, you know, when you add up all of the values, equity in it, then 
yeah, I'm a millionaire. Plus, you know, some cash maybe that I have. I, I'm a little bit liquid. I like to have a little bit of a cushion. So, <clears throat> I just arrived at the office. I don't know. Do leases have equity in it? I don't know. But this is my, um, I just arrived at my real estate academy. And my class is waiting for me. And they're going to be pissed because uh, I'm a little bit late. And it's Monday, too. Good morning. Good morning. How y'all doing? Fine. It's Monday. Yes. Hey. It's my class. Say hi, class. Hi, hi. class. Hello. Hi. So this is where I have to end. I got to give them some attention. Because <laughs> they need it. Not that they need it. We crave it. But they crave it. Yes, exactly. Desire. I like the way this guy thinks right here, Ray. <laughs> Stay tuned.